Imagine. Stocks crashed. Real estate market crashed. President something 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 issued another moratorium on rent. What would you do? How can your financial fitness snowflake come to rescue you? Hmm. Imagine being able to provide a service for billions of people all over the world. And because you provide that amazing service for billions of people all over the world, they pay you billions of dollars. And you have income coming in to take care of your family forever. For some people, this is very, very true. Like the Mars family, and maybe Hershey and Coca-Cola, yes. Did you know the Mars family, their corporation is a privately owned, family owned operation? They have like bajillions of dollars. Yeah, bajillions. It's amazing. Maybe I should say bajillions. Okay. Imagine. We all have dreamt of working for an amazing company that treats people not only equally, but like actual people. That offers internal services for the employees, such as financial counseling. Yes. Or such as retirement counseling. Or even psychological counseling. Because some people actually do need some help up here. Me being one of them. I have, have you ever been a public school teacher? If you have ever been a public school teacher for more than a year, you will need some help up here too. <laughs> okay. Going forward, going forward. Oh, I'm spending so much truth over here. Uh, and those of you out there who know what I'm talking about, I know you feel me. Imagine working at a company where you can make the culture. Will you decide what the company culture is? Because company cultures don't have to be a specific way. Cultures were designed, okay? They were designed by a system to get a certain outcome or to preserve a certain something, okay? You can change the culture of a company. Change your culture, change your world. Entrepreneurial income. The third leg, one of the, thir the one of the three legs that you want to establish. Well, I su I suggest though you can do whatever you like. Though for me and my financial fitness snowflake, one of the one of the three legs is the third one is a business, an entrepreneurial endeavor where I'm making my own income from the products that I sell or make. Like this one, like this product, you're watching a product that my company makes, Helsing Academy LLC, unless we change to another name, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it's still Helsing Academy because you know, I'm Helsing, hey? Eh? So, you want to, if you, when you establish a business and you can make products that can sell themselves or sell for themselves or products that you can scale, that can bring in income. I noticed that right now, one of the big ways that many companies make continual income is they offer subscriptions, even on music now. They offer you a music subscription, even with Amazon. Like, you download music, you don't actually get to keep the actual MP3, as far as I know. You have to be, like, authorized with some kind of a device, so you don't actually get to, like, send it to your friend for free, because that's, like, piracy and all that stuff. Instead, you keep it you 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 buy you 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 buy it and you have it on their system. So whenever you log into the system, you have your music, right? And that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And they have subscription service where they're like, yo, don't even worry about buying it, man. Just pay like seven bucks a month. You can listen to all the music you want, which actually is kind of cool if you don't mind not owning the stuff you listen to. I like to own my stuff because I like to be able to go off grid and like just jam. But that's just me. Um, and you can do that to an extent. So the idea is now you want to start a company, make a product or a, provide a service or something that also brings you in residual income. So even if the stocks crash, real estate crashes, you have another something that's bringing you money consistently, okay? One example is when uh, a young man, awesome man, I'm not gonna say his name, he was really big in real estate, he was making it rain, you know, like 
And then Corona came with the Corona Moratorium, the rent moratorium. And then all of a sudden, some people are like, yo, bro, what are you going to do now? The house is on cash flow. And he was like, dude, I own three companies. <laughs> and one of them is a security company. The two of them, maybe two of them are security companies. Business is good. <laughs> so um, <laughs> the main point is you're protecting yourself on several legs or right, in several different areas. So now you have your income coming in from stocks, you got your income coming in from real estate, you got your income coming in from your company, or you can switch one of those out for cryptocurrency or some other type of income producing asset, whatever it is, you wanna make sure you understand it, you know how to do it, and you've allied yourself with other people who are really good at it, and there you go. So that's, that's pretty quick, right? All right, let's move on to the next one. Entrepreneurial income, Cliff. What is that thing that for no apparent reason sometimes you can just change? And that change will result in you getting percentage changes on your loans and on credit that therefore can turn into a difference of